Hi there, Claire. How are you today? Hi, Tammy. Good. Thank you. So we've put together some workshops and I think that there may be some questions about what somatic inquiry is. So I was hoping you could just take a moment and explain that to anyone interested in working on emotional eating or anxiety. Okay. Yeah, sure. So somatic inquiry, first of all, soma means body. So it's it's focusing on the body and listening to the body, dropping out of your mind and the stories and the thoughts and thought patterns, which is typically where, where we kind of go first, um, and into the body and experiencing those physiologic sensations, you know, what's happening underneath the skin and even on the skin. So the environment so it's a way to ground. It's also a way to cultivate a connection to your body, a relationship really with, with your body in a new way. And, and it's a way to strengthen the mind body connection so that you are paying attention as much with your senses and how your body is speaking um, as you are with your mind. So that's usually our default mode to go to the mind. Um, so this is a new way. So yeah. Okay. So my thoughts on that are, and you know, one of the things that we do here with, you know, our coaching protocols is that a lot of times we're telling ourselves a story that is inaccurate. So can you drill down into that concept and how somatic inquiry can help overcome that? Yes, that's a great question. So in somatic inquiry, we are differentiating from feelings versus perceptions. So what's happening in the mind uh, is often tied to a story um, or thoughts, thought patterns, cognitions, um, and perceptions that might or might not be true. In other words, perceptions can be challenged. However, body sensations, feelings that are present inside the skin, your heartbeat, uh, grumbling in your stomach, that's, that's, truth there's truth there so it's it's starting there and dropping out of the mind and into the body to listen um in a new way uh so that be that becomes part of tuning into your nervous system and how um, your body wants to regulate. Your body always wants to kind of come into homeostasis, that that nervous system regulation. And by tuning into your body um, more and more often and getting into the habit as much as we are in the habit of letting our minds run the show, um, you can really step into what's true because perceptions could always be challenged they might be true. They might not be true. Mm. Yeah. I love that. I hope that people now have a better understanding of what that means and then sign up for the workshops because I know how powerful the one somatic inquiry uh, session that I had with you and how that really helped me to know what to look for mm -hmm. when I start to hear when I'm on the negative thought carousel, mm -hmm. um, super interesting. So thank you, Claire. Mm -hmm. Um, those of you watching this, Claire also does one-on-one -on -one sessions along with her workshops. So, uh, feel free to check out her bio and if you want a book or if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks, Claire. Thank you. Thank you.